In the previous video, we talked about how to do a kind of pre-plan before we started a fusion turning um, project. And in that pre-planning for this part, we determined we're using the machine, which was the TL1. The material for this part is aluminum 6061. Um, the diameter of the stock will be an inch and a half. We're going to use G56 as our work offset, which gives us three inches from the chuck face. And we will be able to do this with the tool library for the TL1. So now that we have this done, we are going to learn how to put this together with a uh, parametrically modeled chuck so that we can somewhat simulate it in fusion. Stick around, it's gonna be a thrill. So here's our part in fusion and we are going to ultimately assemble this part into a chuck that has stock modeled into it so that we can set up sort of a simulation with an actual chuck in a fusion uh, manufacturing file. So to do this, we are gonna first create a new file and we are gonna save it called demo. And then we are gonna go into our machine library. Now, if you're a student of mine, you'll have access to this in your fusion. If you're not, there should be a link down below where you could uh, download these files for these two turning chucks. Now I have a the chuck modeled for both the ST10 and the TL1. We're gonna be using the TL1, so we're gonna go ahead and right click and say insert into current design. And here's our chuck now inserted, and we're just gonna go ahead and click okay, we don't need to move it. Um, I am gonna move it, the view, so it looks like a actual lathe chuck with our X and our Z axis is in the proper direction. Now, before we do anything, we want to break the link. This chain means there's a link back to the master file, which means any changes we make here will also change our master file, and we want this to be unique, so we're going to right-click and say break link. Now that the link is broken, we can go in and edit the stock diameter, and we remember from our pre-project um, pre planning the stock diameter was going to be inch and a half, but the length is going to be three inches. So we're going to change that to three and click OK. And now we have a three inch long stock sticking out of the chuck with an inch and a half diameter. The next step is we need to bring our part file into this file and then assemble it into the stock. Now we've navigated to where the file is located. So I'm going to right click and say insert into current design. Now I'm going to move this out of the chuck just so assembly is easier and we're going to go ahead and click OK. And then we're going to go to assemble. Actually, let's close the data window so we can get some more screen. We're going to go to assemble and J or the hotkey J on the keyboard. And we're going to pick the very tip of the part and the tip of the stock. And now obviously um, this isn't the way we want it. So we're going to hit flip. I moved it back so that I could get the window negative 0.02, which will leave us the leave the part slightly inside. If we zoom in here, we can see if we turn off the joint, we can see that it is slightly inside of the uh, stock and that will leave us some material to face off. And that's how we build an assembly. Um, so that we can create a fusion manufacturing file for turning where we will actually see the chuck and how the cutter uh, works with the part. Now, the same process will be done for the other chuck, the ST10 chuck, um, and you would get the same results. The next step after this would be to go through the setup, setup process, and I will talk about that in the next video. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and hit like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one.